Hello, Rhonda here with an ab and arm toning workout. We're gonna be using a roller and a pair of weights. Not only is this a versatile tool for fascia release and massage, but I'll be sh showing you different exercises that can be done with this. Let's get started with our warm up. We're gonna start on our back holding both ends of the weights. So let's go ahead and lie down onto our mats with our knees bent, feet flat on the floor, warming up the arms first. We're gonna reach the roller up towards the ceiling and then we're gonna bring it overhead. So as you're moving the roller in front of you and in back of your head, you're trying to keep your your abs drawn in and avoid the ribs from flaring. So anchor those lower ribs onto the mat. One last time. Now bring the roller back up towards the ceiling and you're gonna bring the roller over to one side and then the other. Let's go ahead and bring the roller back to center. Now we're gonna zip up the legs, feet touching, ankle bones touching. As we bring the roller over to the left, the knees go over to the right. As the roller goes to the right, the knees go over to the left. Let's go one more in each direction. Nice, all right, let's warm up the core. We're gonna place the roller underneath our feet. Arms come down by our side. And then we're gonna come into bridging. Lifting the hips, squeezing your glutes as you're up at the top keeping those hips level and the core engaged. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's go ahead and change, change the positioning of the roller. We're gonna put it lengthwise onto our mat. The easiest way to get on here is to sit at the very end, bring your arms out wide, find the floor behind you, and then roll down one vertebra at a time. So just go ahead and get situated here first. Walk your feet in. Your feet are wide for a good base of support. You're gonna flex at the elbows, a 90 degree angle. Start with the palms and the forearms facing each other, and you're gonna open up and close. Warming up the arms. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and bring our arms down by our side. And then we're just gonna come into marching, lifting one leg up, then the other. Just getting the feel of balance on the roller. Couple more. Nice, all right. Now we're gonna come into some sit-ups. Elbows are wide, 
fingertips at the base of your skull. Keep a little space between the chin and the chest. Warming up those upper abs. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. We're, it's time for the workout. So let's, the easiest way to get off the roller is to roll off the side. We're gonna place the roller in a horizontal position across the mat. And we're gonna continue those sit-ups with the roller behind our, our back. Just about the lower thoracic spine. The roller behind the back allows for a little bit more extension. And the fingertips are just lightly placed at the back of the head for support. There's no tugging on the head at all. Your elbows are in your peripheral vision. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. We're gonna come off the roller. We're gonna place it back lengthwise onto the mat. And I suggest placing the weight on either side of you for easy access. Again, roll down, wide base of support with the hands. We're gonna lift the legs into tabletop position. So you have that 90 degree angle from the back of the thigh to the calf muscle. And we're gonna come into toe taps. Alternating tapping right foot, then left foot. Waking up those lower abs. Let's go one more on each side. And then go ahead and plant both feet about hip bone distance apart or wider. We're gonna grab our weights. And then we're gonna come into a chest press. So arms in gold post position to start and then you're gonna reach the weights towards the ceiling above your chest. We're gonna be doing anywhere from 10 to 15 repetitions. I have a pair of eight pounders here, but you choose what works best for you. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, let's take a little breather here before we come into our second arm exercise. We're gonna do an exercise called a pullover. You're gonna reach both arms up towards the ceiling and these weights are together. You could also use just one weight. With your arms straight, you're gonna bring the arms overhead and then back to that start position.
Arms are fairly straight with a little bit of bend in the elbow. Moving slowly and with control. Bracing that core. Last three, two, and one. Nice. Let's go ahead and set the, the weights aside. And we're gonna, again, roll off the roller from the side. We're gonna go back to abs. Let's go ahead and place the roller between the lower legs. Give it a squeeze. Arms come down by your side, and then you're gonna do, you're gonna tap the roller onto the floor. Keeping the roller squeezed in between the legs. You should be feeling these in the lower abs. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring those legs back into tabletop. I'm gonna move the roller a little bit away from me. Hands behind your head, elbows wide. We're gonna move in a little rotation. The elbow alternates, tapping onto that roller, turning to one side, then the other. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. We're going to roll back onto the roller. Back to arms. Get situated on it first. Bring both arms up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do tricep extensions. So while keeping the elbows in the same space, pointed up towards the ceiling, you're flexing at the elbows to bring the weights towards the shoulders. Flexing and extending with control. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. We're gonna do one more ab exercise. 
So go ahead and bring your legs in tabletop position. Lift your head and shoulders off the roller. And then you're going to stretch one leg long and then the other. For four, three, two, and one. Nice. Go ahead and pick up the weights. Let's go ahead and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. And now we're gonna come into a chest fly. Opening the arms out to the side. Your palms are facing each other. Just with a slight micro bend in the elbow. Five more. show you the more challenging way to get off the roller where you have to use your core so arms down by your side and just roll on up I suggest doing this round of exercises once or twice more nice job